The Network of Women with Disabilities in collaboration with the Disability Rights Fund organised a workshop to call on the government to always include people with disabilities in its policies. The Executive Director, Network of Women with Disabilities, made a disclosure in Abuja on Friday. He has the rest of the story. Human Rights Day is celebrated across the world on December 10, each year to mark the adoption of the United Declaration of Human Rights, which is seen as a milestone document with the team for this year's celebration being equality. To this effect, the Network of Women with Disabilities in collaboration with the Disability Rights Fund organized a workshop to call on the government to always include people with disabilities in its policies. We want to train these young women and women with disabilities on their basic rights on political participation. Article 29 of the United Nations Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disability talks about the right to political participation. In Section 5 of Nigerian Disability Act, it also talks about the right to political participation. So we are training them to be involved in active politics. We want to see them becoming leaders in their various political parties. We want to see them becoming elected. We want to see them becoming decision makers. We want to see women with disabilities making things for themselves, for their families, and for others through political participation. Okay, Executive Director Network of Women with Disabilities stressed on the need to educate people with disabilities and further highlighting the importance of the inclusion of the vulnerable groups during policy formulations and governance. Education is a very important tool to use for yourself and for others. I like the idea of you mentioning it. If myself did not go to school, I wouldn't have been able to set up an organization like NDW. I'm a graduate of public administration from University of Abuja, and presently I'm pursuing my master's. So we need to encourage children with disabilities. Let's start from the grassroots. As families, you are a family member to your family name you are, you are carrying. So we should start from the family. What are you doing for children with disabilities? They need to go to school like their fellow counterpart. They need to be educated. And those that disability affected them through poverty and perception and um, some other factors need to start afresh. If you are an adult with disability that have not gone to school, you need to start thinking towards that direction. We have adult education. We can capitalize on adult education to be able to get your certificates and pursue your other certificates from the university to the higher level. Women with disabilities can help in constructing and structuring the nation to great standard and to fit our disability in the area of assess, assessment or accessibility rather. A woman with disability in nation building will structure the government or structure the system in a way that it will fit in by including those with disability and be able to even carry every other person along. Women, we have to pick the challenge now. We have to pick the challenge to go into the system of government, to have the system changed to fit us and to make it inclusive. By involving ourselves in the system of government, we'll find out that we have an inclusive citizen engagement. Let's keep laying the block because as we keep laying them, every other person lays, we'll find out that we become a better nation. Challenge the vulnerable groups to get actively involved in partisan politics has been part of the system 
we provide them with the opportunity to bring about the changes needed for the betterment of the vulnerable groups. The challenges persons with albinism face during electoral process, especially during the voting process, is uh, seeking shade, especially when the voting process is done outside in the sun. Persons with albinism are allergic to the sun because the ultraviolet rays causes uh, skin cancer. So we being exposed to the sun, it's not good for our skin. So during electoral processes, persons with albinism will need to seek shade, especially when the electoral process is being done under the sun. We're looking at following up with policy makers to keep reminding them how significant and important it is to include the vulnerable groups which are women, young girls, women with disabilities, the elderly, pregnant women and others. We want to see them being included in whatever government is doing, in every agenda. If you have four agendas, it should be five when you include disability inclusion. If you are planning of having three agenda in your government, you should have um, an agenda for the inclusion of the vulnerable groups.